back to my own self with the jazz thing, like, man, dude, if someone hired me to like produce their jazz record, it would not go well, you know? Yeah. And I could still do all the things. I could go hire all the heaviest cats and like take two weeks and dig into, you know, Miles Davis or whatever. <laughs> and like, it would still probably not come out great because it's just not a part of my, it's not in my DNA. Yeah. Right. It, it would be learned behavior. It's not like something that comes, it's not instinct. It's learned behavior. Yeah, man, that's such that's a fascinating. A that was such an incredible uh, explanation of authenticity, I think. I think that that is, I haven't heard it explained like that. And I think it's going to help a lot of people understand that aspect of songwriting. That was a really good yeah. insight. Yeah. I really appreciate your time, man. And one of the last questions I have for you, my favorite question, or one of the, my favorite questions that I always like ending every conversation with is, what is one thing that you currently know now in your career that you wish you knew when you first started? I would say that it'll be a little bit of a long answer, but I'll say it's not, Go for it's, it, not it's, it's not super simple, but I think it, it's important is that when you're trying to get going, um, I'll use a baseball analogy again. It's like, you want to go out there and you want to show everybody what you can do. Right. And so like every, every time you kind of get an opportunity at bat, the, your instinct is to try to swing for the fences. Right. And you, you want to hit homers and you want to, you want to show everybody, look, I can hit home runs. But the reality is, is sometimes you show up to, to work or to create or whatever we're going to call it. And your pitch just doesn't come that, that day. Mm -hmm. And that's okay. So like, it's like, to me, I have been successful in my career by slowly coming to the realization that like, man, I'm better off to not swing for the fences on pitches that aren't mine and end up striking out. And instead, like, if I can just get on base a couple times and earn my place in the lineup the next time, eventually my pitch will come. Hmm. And, and, and a, a, like a, you know, a direct example of that is sometimes as a guitar player, you get booked on a record or a session that's not necessarily guitar forward. Maybe you get booked on a bunch of songs where there's no guitar solos, or maybe it's singer songwriter music that's way more about restraint, or maybe it's pop music where the guitars are really just kind of like added percussion or finding your role. But the point is, is like, what am I going to do? Try to shoehorn some solo into this just to try to prove to everybody I can play a great solo and it doesn't really fit and haul up the works, you know, or I can just be cool and do what's appropriate. And they're probably going to call me back. And you know what? Two things are going to happen. Either they're going to call me back and I am going to get a fastball sometime, or maybe I'll never get a fastball, but they'll still call me back for 10 years because I'm doing the right thing and getting on base. Yeah, 100%. Right? So I would say that like, you know, something I wish I had figured out way sooner was that idea of like, hey man, just like live to fight another day. Go in there mm -hmm. and service the song or the environment or that moment. And yeah, if you didn't get a chance to show that you can hit a home run that day, that you're a power swinger, like it's fine. Like, yeah. You got on back you got on base and everybody had a good time and you will get another opportunity yeah that's the, that's a big thing i wish i knew no absolutely i want to piggyback on that really quickly because i i think you said a really interesting point you said live, live to fight another day or live to see another day mm -hmm. and i think that that's a really interesting point and it kind of piggybacks on everything you've said in this conversation where something I'm noticing in myself lately, and I think a lot of musicians will be able to relate to this, is the fact that like, I think we see where we want to be 10 steps ahead and we, we're like, wow, it's so far away. So to some degree, it's almost like paralyzing to even get there to some degree. Like you're like, this is where I am now. I want to be there. I, I don't really know how to get there. So it's just like, I don't know what to do. And you almost end up doing nothing to some degree. Well, like you said, you just take the next right opportunity, just one opportunity. And that one opportunity might be the opportunity. Ten of those opportunities might be helping you. Every opportunity is helping you get there, you know, and it's it's one living to see another day, living to see another day, living to see another day. And Absolutely. and by at some point, you will likely get to that that place. But like when we look too far ahead, it can become really paralyzing. Yeah, because it. yeah, I mean, the, and the reality is, if you feel like we're kind of like minded in this, like when you, you know, when you're when you want to be somewhere, you know, when you want to climb a mountain, it's like the kind of progress that people like us want to see will not happen over days and weeks. So it true. happens over months and years. So, you know, when you, if you, you know, if you are passionate and you're driven about something, yeah, you want to start songwriting and have a hit song in six months. <laughs> Ain't gonna happen, you know? So I understand why you want it. I wanted it that way too. You know, you, 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 you fight and you claw for it, but we're, we're, we circle all the way back to managing expectations, right? hundred percent, man. And for me, for me, what the reality of my career has been, it was absolutely not ever, man, it was crazy. I just woke up one day and I was like, you know, I went in or I played this one session and then the next day, everybody in town started hiring. me. It was, man, I set out to do this, you know, and specifically on the session part, it's like 11 years ago, 
I wanted to be a session player and somewhere along the lines, shit, it happened. Yeah. <laughs> like yeah. here I am. Like that's, yeah. you know, I've got awards back here and yeah. you know, wow, it kind of happened. I don't even really know when it happened, but at some point I looked up and here we are. And that's the, you know, that's the, that's going to be most people's path. Yeah. So if you can approach it that way, you know, I think you're better off in the front end. Managing expectations, 